All right, Shalom. I'm going to start saying all praise and glory due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakar Kadash. All right, uh, double honors to our apostles, the elders, great millstone, salutations to you, hopeful elect out there, teaching the word, truth, and sincerity. I'm the brother Amar, coming back at you with another video. All right, from the brother from GMS Cleveland. And, um, you know, real quick, man, I just want to, uh, you know, um, you know what I mean, get into this uh, just real quick uh, lesson, real quick, man, and just, you know, um, have it more so as, as an encouragement for brothers not to really uh, get too stressed out or worried about, you know, the, the, car, the carnal um, aspects of, of your life, all right, rather you a brother that's, you know, that's kind of in a messed up position where you don't really have that money or, or you might not have a car, you got to walk to work and you got to kind of, you know, you know, walk to the destinations or, you know what I mean, are you living with somebody or if you don't, you don't really have a woman or if you look at Esau as he's winning, all right. I will, I will just say, like I said, just remember the scriptures, man, all right, because eventually we will receive the kingdom of heaven, and the kingdom of heaven, that's when we're going to shine, that's when we're going to win, but on this side, on this go around, we got to take the low, man, but anyway, it says, um, this is Proverbs 3 and 31, man, because, you know, uh, at, at, at the uh, live stream we did yesterday, you know, brothers uh, thought about this precept, you know, me and a brother in particular, uh, Rayab, me and him thought about this scripture, when, you know, uh, like, cause I was like, when I see Esau winning, all right, um, I just look at it like, you know, hey, it is what it is. But anyway, Proverbs three verse thirty one, it say, envy, envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways, man. Yeah, so the scripture say, envy not thou the oppressor, man. All right, so when you see Esau win and he he got everything at his disposal, so to speak, and he just that dude, all right, he got a nice car, and I'm talking about you know a fancy ass car. Nice big house, you know what I mean? Nice, you know, he might even have a, a Israelite woman, all right? You look at all that, and especially us being men, you know what I mean? Israelite men at that, we know we royalty. We know we're supposed to be at a, in a particular position, all right, as far as, like, winning and having uh, certain things in our life. We just got to look at that and remember that scripture, man, Proverbs 3 and 31. It says, uh, envy not thou the oppressor, you know, uh, and choose none of his ways. But anyway, uh, this is Psalm chapter 37, verse 1. A psalm of David, fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, man. So the word, when you look at the word fret, all right, it literally means um, worry, all right? So don't worry yourself because of evildoers, man, all right? Because ultimately, man, the people that prosper on, the, on this side and this go around, not, not everybody because you do have brothers that are so-called, you know, successful in this world too. Cause you, you had there's nothing wrong with that neither. If you if you're a brother in the truth and you got and you're a successful person, all right, that's nothing wrong with that neither. Cause you had, you know, certain men, Daniel and, and uh, Moses, all right, Nehemiah and so forth and so on that was in high positions and 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 that uh, kingdom, and in, in the particular kingdoms that they was in. So there's nothing wrong with that. All right, but the thing is, you you, you got to make sure y'all by Shem y'all shot comes first, man. All right, matter of fact, I'm, I'm going get, to get this preset, man. This is the that led me to this, man. All right. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 30. Um, so, like it, 6. I mean, I said Proverbs, so like it. Matthew, three, Matthew 6, verse um, verse um, verse uh, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you, man. I say for it say take therefore no thought for tomorrow for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof man yeah so don't think about tomorrow man just think about the, the um the the, the 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 current day man that you are that you that that's that's, that's happening right now man all right because you don't know what the hell is gonna happen for tomorrow the lord might happen to where something happen where you know he take you you in the spiritual realm man so you just gotta you gotta be circumspect of that man. And uh, like I said, going back to verse 33, it says, But seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, all right? The kingdom of Yahweh, and all these things shall be added unto you, man. So it's like it's, it's like those things will naturally fall in line, all right? Yeah, that's why even in the world, they say when, you know, you don't chase the money. Um, I mean, don't chase the women, all right? You know what I mean? Pretty much just kind of, I guess, like chase the money. And, and, and really don't chase the money or the women. I like, do something that you love to do. And then those things that you, that you, those tangible things, those carnal things that you want, they're going to naturally come, man. And me personally, I'm starting to see that, you know what I mean, uh, e even more, like, as I get older, all right? But anyway, um, going back to Psalms uh, 37, all right, like I said, because 
our main thing is, man, we we seeing you know wickedness prosper. It's all good, man, because we know, like I said, it's it's going to eventually come to an end, man. Psalms one twenty seven and one, man. All right, when you read that, all right. Um, but anyway, uh, going back to uh, Psalms thirty seven verse two, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and withered as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good, so shall thou dwell in the land, and verily uh, thou shalt be fed. It say, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart, man. So when you delight yourself in the, in the Lord, he going to give you the desires of your heart. That's why when Solomon prayed to the Heavenly Father to give him, and the Lord asked him what, what do you want him to give him, pretty much, he said, you know, pretty much give him, uh, you know, wisdom and uh, an ability to lead his people, man, his nation, all right? And that's and that's what ultimately, like I said, when the Lord see that, that show main focus is on him and, and his knowledge and his understanding, and, um, Understanding of his of his truth and his, uh, his 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 teachings, the Lord will give you those things naturally, man. Like the women, you know, a little bit of money here and there, and a place to stay. All right, because with the scriptures I just read. All right, this is verse five. It says, "Commit thy way unto the Lord." It says, "Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass, man." And when you do that, like I said, when you ought to put all your trust in the Heavenly Father and His Son. He, the Lord know, man. He know your heart, so he gonna see that, and he gonna, he gonna, like I said, he gonna, he gonna do particular things to you, man. All right, he gonna, he gonna let, he gonna let you win, man. Let me see. There's another one in here. That I wanted to get it. I don't think. I don't think that's it. No, that ain't it. All right, I'm gonna just end it off in this though. Um, end it off in this. Uh, this is verse 7, back in Psalms 37 and 7. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him of who uh, uh, prospereth in his way. It says, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass, man. All right, so like I said, man, don't worry about the, pe the people that's winning, man. All right, the, the, the Lord owes me. Um, he, he is the one that uh, the scriptures say he... Uh, he um, he he uh, he he. Uh, uh, here goes. I just want to get this because like I said, I'm trying to quote it. Uh, the, the Lord is the one that has control over if you messed up or if you're not. If you're in a good position or you're not. Um, this is uh, the book of uh, uh, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, eleven and fourteen. Prosperity and and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord, man. So ultimately, everything comes of the Heavenly Father, rather. Rather not if it's an Edomite or a Israelite, if they're in a mess up predicament or if they're not, your life is determined uh, by Yahweh by Shimei Shah. They they play the cards you was dealt. They give you out your 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 life so called man. And it's nothing for the Lord to um lift you up man. All right to get you out of that man. All right. Also me like I said, if you're a brother of the truth. Oh man. Excuse me, Yaki. If you're a brother in the truth, just focus on the truth, man. Shalom, man.